you guys Daniel here so this next video is different and it could be controversial and because of that I just want to say that I do not have a problem with religious people I just have a problem with people who try to find excuses to discriminate against other people of course we've all heard of some business owners refusing to sell cakes, flowers, whatever to gay couples, same-sex marriage couples because of their faith, because it's against their religion or what they believe. I truly believe these people are hypocrites and they don't care about their faith. All they care about is inflicting pain on other people and that's why they discriminate. Ever heard of fornication? Fornication, sexual intercourse between people not married to each other. Like I said, we've heard many cases of this. Like, especially um, Kim Davis, that woman from Kentucky who looks like Java the Hutt, who refused to uh, grant a marriage license to a gay couple because it was against her beliefs. And guess who came to protest her? Yes, the Westboro Baptist Church. As much as I hate these lunatics, these cult members, I actually supported them in this one protest because they said that Kim Davis is nothing but a self-righteous hypocrite. And I agree 100%. Phelps Roper said Monday that divorce and remarriage is equivalent to living in adultery and that Davis's first marriage is her only legitimate union. If Davis has truly come to Christ, she would divorce her current husband and put her marriages in the past, Phelps Roper said. Uh, surely, Roper. And if you don't know who she is, she's probably one of the most devoted followers of this cult. But... The thing about this call is that they take the Bible very literally. So, you know what? they That's why they carry these signs that say Christians are hypocrites, blah, blah, blah. Because it's true. They only want to follow the pa passages of the Bible that fit into their needs that they feel comfortable with. Have you ever seen on the news one of these business owners refusing a straight couple service because they've already been married were divorced but are remarrying no you never see that on the news do you ever see somebody who cheated being refused service because adultery is against the bible too no you don't see that they see a straight couple and they're like okay it doesn't matter what else you did against the bible as long as you're not gay and what you're seeing right now are passages that talk about fornication but what my point is, is that why is it okay to discriminate against gay couples, but you don't ever see these hypocrites discriminating against fornicators and adulterers and stuff like that? It just, well, I want to say it doesn't make any sense, but it does make sense because these people don't care about their faith and their morals. They only care about discriminating because it's so easy to look at a gay couple and refuse them service and kick them out but it's very simple to see a straight couple who've had sex way before marriage or who have cheated divorced and getting married you never ever see these people getting refused service so where's your faith in that when does your faith come in i thought you were so devoted to god and stuff so if you want you can look at these bible verses during your own time and then we have other cases like i don't even want to name all of them there's always bakeries with religious nuts uh, and remember i don't have anything with with religious people just these people in particular especially this one woman who recently won a lawsuit i think because she refused service to a gay couple decision by the u.s supreme court is chipping away at LGBTQ protections. This is a victory not just for me, but for all of us. The court sided with Lori Smith, 
A Colorado web designer who argued the state's anti-discrimination law violated her right to free speech. She says her religious belief is that marriage is between a man and a woman, so she shouldn't be forced to make wedding websites for same-sex couples. This is just hearsay, but it wouldn't surprise me if that woman is divorced. But anyways, you know how they say we have so many idiots in politics? Well, let me give you one example. Justice Neil Gorsuch wrote the opinion, stating the First Amendment envisions the United States as a rich and complex place where all persons are free to think and speak as they wish, not as the government demands. Okay, Mr. I don't care what your name is. According to your Bible, Romans chapter 13 verse 1 through 2 says, Obey the government, for God is the one who has put it there. There is no government anywhere that God has not placed in power. So those who refuse to obey the law of the land are refusing to obey God, and punishment will follow. So what else is there to say? I basically made my point that these people do not give a crap about their faith or their morals, or else they would be following all these passages that I just told you guys or showed you guys, whatever. And don't get me started in the one where if a woman gets raped, they have to marry the rapist. Because yes, that is in the Bible. But just like I said, anybody who's not a hateful Christian, I completely respect you. I have nothing against you. I, you know what, as long as you're not hurting other people and you're letting let live, then that's okay with me.